the paid DLC 8 or extra pack 4 is out. Hooray! Let's unlock some stuff for Broly. We're going to start with the legendary Super Saiyan Smackdown Parallel Quest number 128. This mission will unlock his Super Soul and two of his Super Moves, and it will start off with you against Freezer and Broly. It doesn't matter which one you fight, just get one of them on lower health, and then that will trigger the rest of the mission to go ahead. Once Freezer's almost dead, he will be invincible until he decides to fly off and run away. Very nice, Freezer. Then you'll get a notification saying there's a new supporter, and in will fly in Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta. Surprising! Then fight off against Broly Full Power Super Saiyan from the Broly movie, and once you get him on a certain amount of health, he'll be invincible, he'll power up, and turn into a supervillain. You might notice this once or twice throughout the mission. So you just start bombarding him with attacks, eventually he will then power up again, and then Gogeta will fly away for some strange reason, whatever, don't need him anyway. New enemy appears, who's that? It's Time Patrollers, and they seem to come at an infinite amount, they just keep spawning and spawning and spawning, so if you can, ignore them and go straight after Broly. You can waste a lot of time and effort going after these Time Patrollers, so just ignore them if you can. If Broly uses Gigantic Roar, you can easily vanish behind him and then stamina break him. It's actually an extremely easy move to get around if you're close to Broly. Surprisingly, he's gonna then power up yet again. Hmm, is anyone keeping a tally? After you defeat Broly, then you're gonna have a little period where you're gonna have to fight off of these annoying time patrollers before Broly gets up. Ah, oh, damn, so much Broly in this. He will get up, but he won't fight for very long, so just keep him off, keep the time patrollers off until the rest of the mission triggers. Oh look, he's powering up again! Surprising! It's really a good idea and it's really useful to get lots of health regen stuff, lots of items, battle items to help you out because you will probably need it. At one point Broly will fly away, a portal will open, and it's time for you to go through it to the next part of the mission where you go to space, and Broly is giving Golden Freezer a little bit of a difficult time. Then all you have to do is defeat Broly to see if you've unlocked anything. Annoyingly, this mission does not tell you if anything drops. You have to wait until the very end of the mission to find out if you got anything, so you have to get the ultimate finish every single time to see if you might have the chance of getting anything. And if you get the skill, it won't tell you either. It'll just say get an equipment, unless you didn't get an equipment, obviously. So just ride out the end of the mission, get the ultimate finish, and see if you've unlocked it. You might do, you might not. The grind is very real. I feel your pain. But then, and only then, you feel victory. And joy. So just keep grinding this mission until you get all of the skills and equipment that you want. You're going to have to spend quite a bit of time on this, unless you're very lucky. I know at least one person who was very lucky and got everything on the first time. But we're not all that lucky. We're not all that fortunate. So just keep grinding out until you get that wonderful, wonderful drop. I also can't tell you how many times I did this mission before getting his Super Soul. Actually, I can. 14. I counted. I counted every defeat. So his Super Soul just makes stamina breaks on you last a lot less time. Marvellous. Next, we're going to go into Parallel Quest 130, Legendary Starving Saiyan Broly. This mission starts off with Goku having a conversation with Broly, saying, Oh, you're not as good as you used to be. What's going on? Turns out Broly's hungry. You've got to go find Broly some food so we can fight Goku at full strength. You've got to feed Broly. I am not kidding. This is the mission. You've got to feed Broly. So you'll get straight into this battle with Margin Buu and Hercule. Hercule is also not a pushover like he is in other parallel quests, so you know, just don't don't underestimate Hercule. He will get a few annoying rolling punches on you. Then after you beat both of them, the portal will open up, Broly eats some chocolate, and you move on. I'm not kidding. Then you'll be in a fight against Beerus, and uh, once you get rid of Beerus, happy days, all you've got to do is get rid of Whis. You know, the one who is supposed to be stronger but doesn't do much. Excellent. Then you go through the West City Industrial Sector, just go straight across this road, ignore everything, and go into the portal directly in front of you. There you'll go to the wasteland, a bit of time will pass, you'll think, what's going on, but then you'll get a new supporter, and it's Goku! He's back with more food for Broly, and he disappears, and then he's here again. Like, how does that even work? Like, did he just go get the food? Why didn't he bring it with him? Why did he come here, and then go away, then come back again? Anyway, then he turns into a Super Saiyan Blue, so in comes Vegeta, and you have to fight off against both of them. It's a good idea to bring stuff like Spirit Bomb and really easy, like, low-key bar, high damage moves, so you can get rid of them both very quickly, because it's a little bit annoying. Um, but once you get rid of both of them, then you'll trigger the rest of the mission. 
So then Broly will go a little bit berserk, and he will then turn on you, and you've got to fight Broly. Even more Broly, excellent. And once again, with his gigantic roar, very easy stamina break on him, he's very vulnerable. In comes Gogeta again. This has not happened yet. <laughs> and for some reason, Majin Buu and Hercule think it's a good idea to come and fight against you, be on the same side as Broly, you know, because this mission wasn't long enough already. Um, so if you can, ignore both of them and just go straight after Broly, because really he's the one you want to beat. He's the one who drops the stuff that you're looking for. So just go after Broly, and then once you get rid of him, you'll get a skill or an equipment drop. So the equipment here, I'm pretty certain, is Broly's clothes, so if you want that, this is where you get it. And this is where the skill drops, so if you don't get it now, restart the mission, you ain't gonna get it. And in fly Beerus and Whis. For whatever reason, they want a piece of you too. It's one big WTF buffet. Excellent. Just get rid of both of them, and continue on with the mission. BOOSH! Sit down, Margin Boo! Not anything to, this isn't anything to do with Broly, but uh, this version of Beerus on this part of the mission is what drops his new Super Soul, so if you're after that, this is where you get that as well. And wait for a sweet, sweet victory. Now it feels like Christmas. And the last of the Broly stuff is unlocked in Parallel Quest 132, the ultimate legendary Super Saiyan, where you fight off against... Basically the same people as in the last mission, except Piccolo's in there, for whatever reason. Piccolo! Yay, Piccolo! So you're going to start this match, you're going to have quite a lot of dialogue from Broly, so just fly down the bottom of the map, charge up, transform, and as soon as the gates appear, you want to go through the one at the bottom that's also behind you. You want to do this because you want to make sure that Broly finishes the match with over 50% health. This has the most enemies out of the two gates, and if you don't get it here, you can restart easier, but you don't want to waste your time doing an easier one to do the harder one, for him to get beaten up and then you have to restart after doing two different gates instead of one. I find he goes after Goten first and then Trunks and then he goes after Beerus. Beerus doesn't actually go after him at all, it's pretty much just Trunks and Goten, so get rid of them first. Um, also when you're down to one opponent you'll trigger the next enemies to come in, so get them both. The last two enemies on really low health so you can get rid of them in the, in the same amount of time or just when they come in, otherwise you're going to have an extra enemy to deal with. It's a nice little strategy that's helped out me quite a bit. Whis will then come in with Piccolo, and Piccolo is super aggressive to Broly. I don't know what's gone into him, like he's really mad about something. I mean, I don't know what it is, but he just goes for he just goes for Broly non-stop, so get rid of Piccolo first. Unless he's not going after Broly, in which case go after Whis. You really have to babysit Broly in this mission, it's really annoying. To get Broly's skill in this match, you don't need to get the ultimate finish, but some of the stuff does require an ultimate finish. Not necessarily related to Broly, but you want to get as much as you can in as quick as possible. So go through the gate once you defeat all the enemies, go to the Tournament of Power gate, and you'll go against Kefla and Kaba. Now, I bet you guessed what the first enemy you should go after is. <laughs> Broly and Kefla will go after each other as soon as you get in the match. So just get rid of Kefla, she's actually not that strong. She's got the same weakness as Broly actually in his new ultimate. You can vanish behind her really easily in a stamina breaker. Um, Cub is really weak in this in this, in this this part of the mission, so he's not a problem. Unless he's starting to beat up Broly, which he probably won't. Go after Kefla first. Then the next gate will open and you can go to the final part of the mission, which is pretty long, I'm not going to lie. These parallel quests are not the best that have come out in the DLC packs, but the stuff that you get from them are, so you know, it kind of evens out. Go straight after Broly because he's the one who drops the move. Again, like I said, you don't need to get the ultimate finish. This is where he drops his ultimate, not in the last part of the mission where he gets up. It's this part. If you don't get it here, restart the mission. Goku and Vegeta will transform into Super Saiyans, quite annoyingly cutting you off from any ultimates you're doing at the time. But once they've turned into Super Saiyan 2, they will not transform until you finish the mission. If you want to go after the ultimate finish portion of this mission, you have to defeat Goku and Broly after they transform into Super Saiyan 2 and then you have to let them both get up, then you have to defeat them both in Super Saiyan Blue, and you have to do this while babysitting Broly and making sure his health doesn't dip below 50%, which can happen really quickly because he's a bit of a snowflake in this, I'm not going to lie, they do a lot of damage to him, so really just stick by Broly, go after whoever he's fighting, whoever's fighting him, just get rid of them, ignore all damage to yourself, use battle items to recover all your health, it's just a lot more efficient to get knocked around the map fighting against someone fighting Broly than just to keep restarting the mission. Really, it gets really annoying if you do that. I've found moves like Revenge Death Ball that do a lot of damage, even if they use a lot of key, to be extremely useful because really you're after that quick KO on both of them. You're not here to conserve your key. Once you get rid of both of them with Broly over 50% health, which 
believe me, is actually pretty difficult. You'll trigger the ultimate finish portion of this mission where Broly will get up. And surprisingly, oh no, this has never happened, he powers up. Who'd have thought? Wow. <laughs> and in flies Gogeta, who's, you know, for whatever reason going to fight with Broly. Don't know why. But, you know, he's pretty susceptible to moves like Revenge Death Ball. You can pretty much one-shot him if you've got a strong enough character. So, again, just uh, you go after both of them because they're the last two enemies. If you're interested, there will be a video on this, but Gogeta is the one who drops his ultimate. And, like before, if you don't get the move you're looking for, restart the mission. So, there it is, the ultimate finish. And we're looking for that sweet, sweet, sweet victory at the end. When we get that pop-up saying we don't have to do it again. Also, this is the same mission where Goku will drop his new Super Soul and Vegeta will drop his. And quite nicely, I'm pretty sure they have a chance to drop the Super Soul before and after they get up, so you have two chances, hypothetically, to get the Super Soul. And there it is, the skill drop for Broly's Gigantic Roar, which is a super powerful move, and it also gets stronger when you're on lower health, so it's great for parallel quests where you're getting beaten around a lot. There you go. That's quite nice, isn't it? Very nice. We're looking for that sweet, sweet victory. <gasps> and that felt good. This has been my guide for how to unlock the wig, the supers, the ultimate and super soul of Broly in DLC 8. There will be a video coming for Gogeta. I haven't got round to it yet. And Christmas is coming up, so there'll be a few days anyway. In the meantime, I did a video about how to unlock the supervillain skills, but I'm not going to do the last three because they're way too annoying to get, so the first three is all you're going to get, unfortunately. Oh well. When I have more free time, the Gogeta unlock video will be coming, as well as a guide on how to use Broly and Gogeta. But until then, stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Axonius Rex.